Her name is Maria. So Maria fell in love. In fact, she fell so madly in love that she decided to declare her devotion to her lover by tattooing his name on her arm. Dionysus. Yes, Dionysus. That's an actual name back in Greece. <laughs> in fact, how many of you happen to know this guy? Come on, this is Dionysus, or Dionysos. He's actually the god of ritual madness and unconstrained alcohol consumption. The god of ecstasy. <laughs> One could very easily say he's the god of Oktoberfest back in Bartholomew. <laughs> so yeah, Dionysus in Maria's arm forever. <laughs> but I don't judge. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, of course. But what's with this tattoo frenzy whatsoever? You know tattoos are a very ancient fashion. They're more ancient than Ulysses. They actually have been found in human remains from all over the world, with the oldest one found in a mummy from Peru, dating back to 6000 BC. That's more than 8000 years ago. And of course, tattoos still thrive in our days, as one out of four people have gotten a tattoo in their bodies. And just out of curiosity, <laughs> does anyone have a tattoo? Please raise your hands. Ah, okay. Now could you please stand up and show us your tattoos? <laughs> I don't want to see any pants getting off, of course. So we, we see tattoos every day. We see them in our hands, we see them in our friends' head, skins, we see them in the bartenders, of course. We see them at the DJ's arms, we see them at famous actors' skin. Some people even get the butter horn as a tattoo. And there is, is this guy, I don't even know his name, but whatever. And of course, if you want to become a top chef with a TV show, you don't have to cook well, you just have to look like this. <laughs> but have you ever wondered why tattoos stay forever in our skin? You know we continuously shed our skin, not like snakes, but by using over one million dead skin cells every day. That's almost four kilos of dead skin cells per year. Where do all these dead skin cells go? <laughs> Ta-da! Dust, ladies and gentlemen. Dust in your computer screens, in your tables, in your picture frames. Dust is basically made of dead skin cells. And you know what? Your houses are actually filled with former parts of yourself. Yeah. I know it's really creepy, but you may want to start cleaning more often now. So, we... This, we lose so many dead skin cells every day, but what stops tattoos from disappearing along with our shedding skin? Please get ready for the scariest moment of the tattoos. The moment of the needle. <laughs> the needles. The tattoo machines. Like tiny needles into our, our epidermis. So these needles penetrate the skin and reach into a deeper layer called the dermis. At the dermis, these needles deposit small droplets of ink that eventually form the tattoo. However, the ink that invades inside our bodies is recognized as a foreign intruder. And of course, immediately activates our most amazing defense mechanism, only that in our bodies it looks like this. The protagonists in this process are the forefront fighters of our immune system, certain cells called macrophages. The macrophages run towards the intruding ink droplets and they engulf them in order to digest them and eliminate them. Little do they know, however, that the ink they just engulf consists of such a complex chemical molecule that they are unable to digest. Trust me, if you ever feed a macrophage with this molecule, the macrophage would suffer from eternal dyspepsia. What is this? It's exactly what we students feel here in Switzerland every time there's some free food. <laughs> you know, we, we eat like there's no tomorrow, so... <laughs> the macrophages eat this ink, they are unable to digest it, and moreover, this ink is so large that doesn't even let the macrophages move. So the poor macrophages with bellies full of ink remain forever trapped in the dermis. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, Dionysus is not a god. He's just some droplets of ink trapped inside a bunch of unhappy macrophages in Maria's arm. <laughs> and imagine how many unhappy macrophages David must have in his arms. <laughs> ah, 
Maria, Maria. You know the story is actually really sad because three months ago Maria and Dionysus broke up. Actually Dionysus broke up with her but that's another story. And of course no tears could wash him away from her arm. So I had to make her feel better. So I invited her here in Basel in July. And she was so thrilled she could come here because she had heard about this spectacular event, this unforgettable event that thousands of people experience here in Basel. The Battle Tattoo! <laughs> and you know what? She told me, Nairobi, we should go, we should go. So we went. <laughs> ah, poor Maria. You know, she actually expected to see something like this. <laughs> She got this. <laughs> so, Maria, however, has another very serious problem to face. You remember the drug macrophages in the dermis? Some of them eventually do manage to escape from the dermis, and that's why tattoos fade away with the time. However, these macrophages that escape from the dermis are actually able to travel inside our bodies. Yes, the ink that was initially in a very limited spot inside our bodies is free to, to spread all over inside us. And the ink inside the macrophages, in the end, reaches some very important organs of our immune system, called the lymph nodes. And at the lymph nodes, the macrophages may decompose and empty the undigested ink into the circulation. And what's wrong with that? Maria would ask. <laughs> Maria, Maria, of course, most inks are non-toxic. However, not all inks used for tattoos are tested. The FDA has reported that some inks are actually containing some colors we use for printing or for color paint, for car paint, sorry. And also some inks contain some heavy metals that gradually accumulate inside our bodies and may cause cancer, birth defects, and reproductive harm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, come on. Shouldn't we just give it a second thought before we decide to declare our love to Dionysus? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>